Hey there. I'm in the hog pen. The weather has cooled off significantly today. Uh, it's real breezy. There's a cold front blowing in. And so it's real pleasant. Real pleasant for Gus and I here in the hog pen. And there's a lot of work to do. This place is a mess. I'm embarrassed to show it to you, but I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. I'm gonna show you. I just took a big generator out of here that was sitting here and uh, I'm looking for a broom. I don't know if Felicia's gonna let me use one of her brooms or not, but I'm gonna start with this corner right here, get it all cleaned up, looking nice and neat. And then I'm gonna work my way around, I'm gonna build some new shelves for the helmets to stay on before Gus gets another one. So, let me see if I can find that broom. So I got interrupted during my job. Felicia is uh, winterizing the pool and she was ready for us to cover it, put a cover on it and a net, a net over the cover. And the wind is blowing because the cold front is blowing in and it was quite a job. So I haven't got a lot accomplished out here, but this corner is, Still cluttered, but cleaner. And uh, it just seems like I'm moving stuff from one spot to another, but eventually we'll get there. So I did some sweeping and I did, I moved my pellet grill from back there to here for now. That thing right there is going away, ASAP. A lot of work to do, little time to do it. Yep, yeah, that's all right, it's the next day. I was in the process of uh, cleaning and organizing the shop, the hog pen, I call it. And I had to go help Felicia <coughs> cover the pool. And then I got some more work done. I'll show you what I've got done. Um, I swept out this corner. I moved the pellet grill to there. I think I already told you that. And I got the big smoker. I got the big smoker thingy out. And uh, I've swept to this corner. And the rest of the shop is, let me stand up against the wall that I've cleaned. And I'll show you what I'm dealing with here. How did it get that bad? I don't know. I just piled things in here. The summertime, it was extremely hot. I just piled things in here. <clears throat> but here's the, here's the deal. Um, <clears throat> I have about two afternoons a week, generally, when there's no, uh, I have about two afternoons a week that I, I could get in here for a little bit you know, if there's not some kind of family thing or whatever, but the, I started this yesterday. Today's Wednesday. On Wednesdays, we do staff meetings at the office. Then we do staff lunches usually, and then we have Bible study on Wednesday afternoon at 6.30 that I have to prepare for. So Wednesday is a, today's Wednesday. Wednesday's a bust when it comes to this kind of stuff. And so... <clears throat> And it's cold. It's 45 degrees and windy. I don't know when you know it's been when it's been being 100 degrees, 100 degrees, 45 degrees is, and windy is chilly. And so anyway, I can't work on it today. I'm headed to the office. Oh, I got to turn my lights off. So anyway, I'm headed to the office. Got the lights off. Headed to the office, I probably, well, I know, I won't be back until probably 8.30 this evening. Well, it's uh, still Wednesday, and I, um, somehow or another, I managed to get away for the afternoon so I'm here for a couple of hours 
And my plan is to try to build some shelves to, to put helmets on. That's what I'd like to do. So I'm gonna just build it out of lightweight stuff. Helmets are not he heavy. And I'm gonna see what I can get done. I have the first shelf up and it doesn't look great. I built it all out of scrap wood, scrap pieces. And I built it in a building that nothing is plumb. And the wall where this uh, shelf is actually has a big hump in it. So I had a little bit of a challenge, but uh, I had a little bit of a challenge, but I'll show you what I got. So that's the first shelf. And I put the good helmets up on that shelf because it's out of, I know for a fact that it's out of Gus's reach. The only stud in this wall was right here. That's why that bracket is out of place. The other brackets, I have them screwed in with actually with sheet metal screws because they have thread all the way up to the head and they'll grab a hold of that OSB. That's a little bit of progress I didn't think that I would get done today. I really have time to go out there and build another shelf. I'm not 100% sure that I'm gonna put another shelf up. If I do, it's just gonna be for old helmets uh, just for memory's sake. Because I think I've got all the helmets, other than my half helmet that's on the bike, I think I've got all the helmets up there that we are actively using. Plus one that's not being actively used. So what I've done is, for now, I've got, I've got uh, one half, one wall. Uh, kind of the way I want it for now. I'm still not really satisfied with the way it Starts looks. Starts here. And uh, these are the shelves where I keep my fresh washer. This is my mosquito fogger and my shop back. One of the grandkids scooter down there, some chemicals, a pump sprayer, a propane bottle, a floor jack, golf clubs, which I wish I could use again, but then I've got the pellet grill <coughs> and all my grilling and cooking accessories around it. And then my heater, a motorcycle lift up here, got a little bit of storage. And uh, I mean, over here I've got the helmets and there's my rain suit hanging there. My chair. So this side looks decent. But if you go to the other side, right it's been uh, I don't really know for sure at least two weeks since I was in the hog pen trying to clean it up and it is as good as it's been in a long time is it perfect no uh, you know organizers organizing gurus say everything has a place and put everything in its place but my question is what do you do when you have something you don't want to be get rid of but it don't have a place and thus, we have our junk closet, which I'm going to be um, putting a door on it. And then my next project will be to empty the junk closet out and throw away anything that's in there that's not useful. And so this is the first time I've had Black Beauty in the hog pen in several, probably a couple of months, two or three months. And... Uh, and so it's glad to be be back in its place. It is, but uh, it's all good. It's October, 
It's November the 21st. It's the Tuesday before Thanksgiving. And I want to just say to you, I hope that you have a very, very happy Thanksgiving. And let me remind, remind you of this. Jesus said the thief only comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. He said, I have come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. And I want to encourage you today to choose life. Ah. Ah.